What's going on? It's James Jones, Mr. President, Mr. CEO of Official Dead Stock, and right now you are watching the Chris Campbell Television. Yo, what's up, guys? It's the homie Chris Campbell, and I'm with the official shoe plug. You know what I'm saying? Anytime you come to H Town, if you don't come see Jay, better known as Mr. Jones, official dead stock man. You, you, you're not even came. You're not doing Houston right. First of all, if you don't come to Houston and you don't stop here, grab you some kicks. You do not know what you're missing. I don't even wear tennis shoes, bro, but I have to say, these gold Jordans back here, man, you know, I'm gonna have to, you know, gold is my color. We got the gold mic, got the gold shoes, we got the Yeezys, you know what I'm saying, yeah, man. Yeah. Why, why shoes? You like a big shoe fanatic, huh? Bro, I love shoes my whole life. Like, <laughs> my whole life, literally. So, even going back to like elementary school, bro. Exactly. Like, my homie, um, he had the Laney Fives, like back when I was in the fourth Way grade. Way back. And I was just like, Bro, I was in the East Bay. I was going home looking in the East Bay. Looking at I the remember joints. the little books. I ain't got an East Bay book in a minute. Y'all used to get the East Bay books, man. Boy, he's never bought nothing out of there. <laughs> Just looking. Just looking. <laughs> Just like wishing and hoping. So you saw those and you, your, your, your love for shoes just grew. So um, you decided to go ahead. How old are you now? Right now I'm 24. 24. 24. I, I already got you a store popping. You know, people know about you already. You got your own T-shirt, you know, your T-shirt with the company and everything like that. What made you want to go ahead and venture off into that side of things as well? I mean, honestly, it came to me like um, I was opening the shop and I was doing mm -hmm. my shoot thing. And I got the opportunity to be in a fashion show. Who runs Houston? My girl, 4.0. DJ, DJ 4.0. You know, she do her thing every year. So she was having that. Um, She actually, Peaches. Peaches is the plug. She came to a pool party That's that I loud. had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And was like, yo, you have your shoes. You should have your shoes thing do you have t-shirts and stuff you should be yeah, at a fashion yeah. show so i was like oh okay and yeah. then i just came up with some designs that's lit the fashion show. that's lit so he was <laughs> like man let me get my shirts going on i got the shoes already i got the shirt so you good now yep. you know what i'm saying so how's business like i know a lot of people you got a big following on um instagram now it's growing yeah. Um, you got a couple different people. I know you have like crazy pop up shops here all the time. Yeah. Tell me your collaboration with like other people, with, like with their clothes and how your traffic is Dude, here. I want to say the best collaboration I've done um, is one with my boy Godson. Okay. But the latest pop up shop I've ever had here was with my homie Adrian, and Adrian. his clothing line is unspoken. And bro, like when he when I say he came through, we made came money through. and he had the party. Like this was That's really dope. like it was like everything was going on. It was just perfect. It was just it was a good day, bro. Like it was so good. So Adrian, yeah. unspoken. Unspoken. That's the website. Adrian. That's his website. I'm um, gonna have to go check him out. Sound. See, I don't know about his website, but I know his clothing line is called Unspoken. Okay. If you go to my Instagram at official deadstock, um, I'll post it up like recently, and you'll just see Unspoken. Really? On there. Yeah. So I'm post that boy up. I'm gonna give him a shout out. So why official deadstock though? Like why is that the name? So the name official deadstock it comes from being official. So okay. when you're when you're out here like before I had the shop, I was literally just riding around reselling shoes. Like people okay. hit me. Up he was already I, like, hustling. Meet him somewhere and exactly. then, like, you know, sell him the shoes. But dead stock and sneaker talk means shoes that are unworn. Mm. So, like, dead stock just means brand new. And I have official dead stock. Like, these That's are lit. not fake. Yeah, like, yeah. This is real. Like, these are real shoes. And everybody don't have these shoes. So, you work hard to try to find these shoes, you know, make them available and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, bro. It's, it's, it's very difficult. It's a very dirty game. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very... That's all I can say. It's a so, the, the stores game. be, like, mad at you sometimes when you come through, you know, you, dude, you get stuff and all that kind dude, of stuff. the stores be mad at you. <laughs> the people working in the stores be mad at you. I mean, it seems like everybody is, like, just... Nobody likes resellers, bro. No, no, like, no, but, but honestly, I mean, right now, I'm doing the resale thing, and it's cool and everything, mm -hmm. but I eventually want to go from resale to retail. Okay. So I want to make that conversion, like, in my next spot when I have a bigger shop mm -hmm. and I got more space, I want to get those contracts and actually, exactly. like, get shoes from, like, New Balance, A6, Sacconis, um, Vans, bro, like, I love little Sikonis, different man. stuff like that. Like, yeah. that's what I'm looking to get into, bro. So how, how long and from Adidas, now are you Adidas, trying to do that? Adidas. You can't forget Adidas. Adidas. I mean, Adidas everything. Adidas. You know I need Adidas. <laughs> Team Adidas. What would be your favorite <laughs> shoe, though? What would be, like, your favorite brand of shoe? 
Dude, my favorite brand, honestly, I would say at the moment, not even to play into all the hype, but Adidas. Adidas. But just because I feel like the shoes that they're making right now, they're taking it back to a place where shoes are more comfortable. Yeah. Then, then you just walking around in a Jordan, mm -hmm. and it's not really the most comfortable shoe, but... I mean, you're walking around yeah, in it because it's, it's cool. It looks good, but it's but, not comfortable. I feel but like. Adidas is making shoes that are very, very, very comfortable. Really? Like it's like walking on a cloud. And like, when they drop the whole the color um, line, yeah. when they dropped the all the colors, I'm a big, I'm a huge fan of colors. I don't know why. I can do all black and throw <laughs> me some color on at the bottom all day, every day. You know? yeah, I yeah. think that was just dope. You know what I'm saying? They're taking it way, way back. I know they released. Um, the windbreaker jackets too, like yeah. the old school jacket, yeah. man. They released the all that stuff. Joints. That, that, them joints are fresh, <laughs> bro. I gotta get one now that we're talking about it. I, I gotta get one, man. Mm -hmm. Alright, so you got Godson, you got the unspoken here, you got official dead stock in the building, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You got Jordans, you got Yeezys, yeah, everything. So tell me what's something that you haven't gotten your hands on yet that you that you wanna get. Ooh, something that I haven't got my hands on that I wanna get. Cause I know you've been hustling for a minute, but it's gotta be something you just can't get, you know. Ooh. I mean, honestly, I would say hey, lit. something that I really don't. Man, that's a good one. Like I'm stumped right now. You know, a shoe that I've always wanted mm -hmm. and that I've just never gotten has been the Raging Bull Five, the red suede one. The red, not, not, not the red three choice. M one, but the red suede Raging Bull Five. They came in a pack, yeah, yeah. and they came out when I was in the I was in the tenth grade. I had just transferred to Lamar. I came from Westbury, so I went to Lamar, and I forget. I never forget this. The flyest dude at school, no homo, <laughs> no homo. You can't yeah. hate on the man if he had the he red was, joints was way fly, back bro. then. Like, you my can't boy, hate on the kid. My boy Drew, bro. He's been he's fresh. been sauce. Yeah, like yeah, he's been that's real, bro. Like you know those people who you go to school with, and they always been fly, and yeah. they still fly to this day. So I'm in world world history class, mm -hmm. and I look I look over, and I see him with the shoes on, and I'm just like, man, I didn't even know that they had came out. <laughs> like he was ahead of the game already. Like, you were asleep. Like, you were asleep. You went on your official dead stock game then, bro. Not back then. Bro. <laughs> back then I was on that like you get one pair of shoes, maybe for like well when you start school you get mm -hmm. one pair of shoes. Yeah. And then if for you, your if, birthday, you, yeah, you, you get, gonna get another pair of shoes. Maybe one for Christmas. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. My mom was never about buying me a whole bunch of shoes. Yeah. So when I got my first job, bro, oh, it was, you oh, went crazy. I was stupid. You went crazy. I, was <laughs> I bought the G Shocks. Ooh. I bought. I, you remember the Louis Pages people mm -hmm. wore on that keychain? Yeah, the I little, spent my whole check on that. On one. one of those? Yes. Bro, I'm gonna have to get me one. <laughs> now that we talking about it, bro, the, for real. You know, I wear my keys here now. I have them on now. Yeah. But I wear my keys. You know what I'm saying? We wear keys <laughs> yeah. here now. But I'm about to get me another policy, bro. Uh, then they small, you know what I'm saying? You can't really put much in there, but I they broke, look good. <laughs> I broke that thing so much. The people at the gallery it was just like, because you know the keychain. Yeah. I broke the keychain so many times. They were like, bro, and they just kept having to fix it. it. Yeah, don't bring it back. No I was like, nah, bro. <laughs> I was like, I can't fix it no more. Can't do this no more, bro. I need to stop breaking like, it. Dang. All right, cool. For sure. And then I just stopped wearing it. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, I mean, I used to be that dude back in school. You know what I'm saying? I was the fresh guy in school. I think I still got a little swag now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. One of the things, you know, I do my little hosting thing and everything. Like every time I host an event, you know, I be like, yo, Houston in the building, Dallas in the building. But when I say Mo City, where you at? Man, oh. everybody goes crazy. And you're from Missouri City, Texas, I'm from right? Mo City, yeah. What is up with Mo City? What is so special about Mo City, bro? Like everybody is lit from Mo City. Oh, Mo City is the place, man. Like we've been we I feel like we've been Houston's little brother for so yeah, long, yeah, yeah. and then Zero came out and he had that song "Most of You Done." You yeah, see what that do whenever bro. that come on. But also, like now that Travis Scott is out, like and he brought more recognition to it, mm -hmm. and he's riding with Yeezy, mm -hmm. and he's taking it like. On exactly. a world level. Exactly. So it's kind of like, man, Mo City's just proud right now, bro. Y'all like, should be, man. Like, Mo City is dope. Is. I was like, man, I want to be from Mo City, man. I'm from Mo City. I always wanted to be from somewhere different, though. Like, really? Like, from, like, a different country, you know? Like, you know, <laughs> like honestly, bro, I feel like us here, like, we don't really got no... I mean, we got American culture. Yeah, but it ain't like... We ain't got our own language. Uh, yeah. We ain't got our own, like, money. Well, like, you know, it's 2016. Like we go way, way, way back. It started rough for us over here. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Very, very rough. <laughs> and it's getting crazy now. And that's why it's so yeah. good to see, you know what I'm saying, another black brother doing something positive. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I go home at night and I can sleep, and I know, man. I just interviewed Jay today. I know Jay ain't got to worry about Jay getting pulled over, man. You know what I'm saying? Going crazy at the police and bro, stuff like that. Surprised, bro. Cause I'm it cool. does go down, man. Hey. But I have to say this. <laughs> I got pulled over one time in Houston on Westheimer. You come to Houston, you get on Westheimer, that's like one of the main roads. Yeah. I got pulled over, I had so much stuff against me, I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> bro, he was like, bro, this, he, it was a white guy, he was like, man, this is a lot. He was like, I'm not gonna lie to you, this is a lot. You can go this time, don't speed on Westheimer. He was like, it's 30, 30 miles per hour, you know, I'm from Alabama, we be, okay. we be pushing, you know what I'm saying? But. I had a good experience, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of stuff going on, but as, as the more positivity that we pour out into the world, we can only get that back, and that's how I feel, bro. Exactly. So I just, I just want to, you know, applaud you for everything that you're doing here. Mm-hmm. What's next, though? How long we gonna be here? You know, in in, in your ten year, ten year, okay? Okay. Your ten year plan. Okay. Where is official dead stock gonna be? Everywhere. Everywhere. Official in ten years, I wanna have official dead stock. Here in Houston, I want to have one in Austin. I want to have one in, in San Antonio. I want to have one in California. That's lit. I want to have one. Like, right now, I'm doing a lot of online sales. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people up north, like, really, like, Baltimore. Mm-hmm. Like, Maryland. Like, so, that, that shoe like, junkies up there. They, they yeah, like that type of stuff. Like, yeah. So, I really do. I wish I had my map. So, I have a map in my room where I just drop a pin on That's everywhere loud. where I sell a shoe. And it's, like, color-coded by the year. So literally, like it's just a big wave of like I'm looking at it. That like is a, dope, from bro. From stand back, stand yeah. Back. And you so see I can colors. see like, hey, I'm selling a lot of shoes up north. We need, we might need to own. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That might need to be some business that up that north. Need to be so, the spot. Really, honestly, bro, just watching that map and and wherever that map is telling me, how that paper. That's what you gonna make do. The moves. That's a lie, bro, so, man. Yeah. Well, I'm 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 proud. You know, I'm gonna have to cop me some. I need one of the <laughs> Houston shirts or Houston hat or something like that because I feel like I'm a part of Houston now, even yeah. though I'm from Alabama. But you know what I'm saying? They didn't brought me in. We good now. I got my shoe plug now. Yeah. I know where the clothes at now. Yeah. You know, I know who to see in the fashion shows now. Yeah. I know where the homie at now. We good. It's official dead stock, man, bro. You're officially fluent. My man. And we out. Uh. Just like straight like that. Straight like that. You come play in the camera. Yo, come on. Cause I need some B-roll footage. It's gonna be music over all this. You know what I'm saying? Get your mic. <laughs> the lightning here is oh. lit. <laughs> Oh, you